Hey, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. Today we're going to work on our fluency doing two different activities. We're going to do some skip counting and we're going to be identifying some plain shapes. So our first learning goal says I can skip count by sixes, sevens, eights, and nines. And our second learning goal says I can identify plain shapes. So let's jump in with our skip counting first. So we're going to practice skip counting together. Remember a thumbs up means you're going to count up. A fist means you're going to stop. And a thumbs down means you're going to count down. So we're going to count by sixes to 60 first. Okay, remember when you're doing this, you guys want to be holding up one finger every time you say a number. So if we're skip counting by sixes and I go six, 12, you should have two fingers up because that's telling you that six times two is 12. That's the whole goal of this skip counting practice is to help us with our multiplication. So make sure you're moving those fingers as you are skip counting along with me. So we're going to count up. Here we go. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60, stop. Now we're going to count down. So we're at 60, so 54, 48, 42, 36, 30, 24, stop. Now we're going to count up. So we're at 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54. Awesome job, friends, being able to count with your sixes. Now we're going to count by sevens to 70. Here we go. We're going to count up 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70. Now we're going to count down 63, whoops, 63, 56, 49, 42, 35, stop, count up, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70. All right, great job, friends. Counting by sevens. You guys are amazing. Now let's count by eights. You ready? Count up. Here we go. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80. Counting down. 72, 64, 56, 48, 40, 32, 24. Counting up, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80. Rock on, friends. Great job with counting by eights. Now let's count by nines. Here we go, counting up. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90. Counting down. Nah, 81, 72, 63, 54, 45. Counting up. 54, 63, 72, 81, 90. Rock on, friends. You guys are a great job at, or you guys are pros at skip counting by sixes, sevens, eights, and nines. So awesome job with that. Now let's talk about some plain shapes. So I'll show you a shape. My goodness, I went out of order. A plain shape is a closed two-dimensional shape. So it's a flat shape that's closed all the way around it. So if you were to draw a line all the way around that shape, there's not gonna be an opening or a gap. That's what a closed shape is. So here's how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna show you a shape. You're gonna identify the shape. Pretty simple, right? Okay, here we go. What's this one, friends? It's a triangle. That was a pretty easy one. How many sides are on a triangle? Three. How many corners are on a triangle? Three. Awesome. What shape is this? Square. You got it. Boy, if math was only this easy all the time, life would be good, right? <laughs> all right. How many sides are on this shape? Four. How many corners? Yeah, four. You got it. All right, how about this shape, friends? Do you think you can figure this one out? I know you can. What is this shape? A rectangle. You got it. That one's pretty easy, right? Another one with four sides and four corners. 
Ooh, it gets a little bit trickier. Who remembers what this shape is? It's a trapezoid. Great job, friends. It's a trapezoid. How many sides are in a trapezoid? Four. Bam, you guys got it. Okay, another name for this shape is also called a parallelogram. A parallelogram, oh no, I'm sorry, a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral has four sides. So a, shape, a square, a rectangle, and a trapezoid are all quadrilaterals because they have four sides. Quad means four. Two thumbs up to you guys for skip counting and identifying plain shapes. So awesome job with that, friends. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete next. And hope a great have you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. Bye.